Hey folks, today we're going to try and create a Snowflake programmatic access token and then we are going to use that token in place of a password which is what Snowflake says here. So instead of using the user password, we're going to put in the pet token instead here. Okay, so here you can see I'm logging to uh, dbt cloud and then we are going to test that in the environment connection right here. So here is the username and instead of the password, we are going to use the pet token. So here I'm switching over to Snowflake. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter my user and I'm going to add a programmatic access token. And then I'm just going to set that to one day of expiry. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go to DPT Cloud and then I'm going to test that out. Okay, so here we get an error that says network policy is required. So there's something that Snowflake does call out here. So there's some prereqs when you want to use this. So it says that um, you need to have a network policy and then also an authentication policy. So what I'm going to do is create the network policy and attach it to this user right here. So I'm going to go back to Snowflake. And then here I am creating a network tool. Um, okay, so I've already done that before. So this is, I have a network policy here called NPJO, and then that has a network rule here. And the network rule says to allow 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0. So this is allowing every single IP, which is not something you want, really. You, you want to make sure that this IP is only restricted to DBT Cloud, for example, right? So for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to allow everything. And then I'm going to alter this user, and I'm going to set the network policy on that user. Okay, so now this user has that network policy, which means this user can only log in from this IP, which is everywhere. Now let's see what happens here. I'm going to go back and test. And then we get a green, right? So we are successfully connected to Snowflake using user pass, and, but instead of a password, we are using the pet token instead. So I'm just going to do a save and then maybe run a dummy job just to double check that things are working. Then we got a green, which means we successfully connected to Snowflake, and then we built a table and so on. Okay, so I'm going to now try and remove that pet token. So now that user no longer has that token, and then we're going to try and run the job again just to see what happens. Now here we expect that we will get an error. Okay, and so we can see that we've got a failure here, and the failure is the inability to connect because the programmatic access token is invalid which makes perfect sense because we have gone and removed that access token. Cool. And so that's all there is to it. Uh, you want to double check the documentation, check what is required, uh, and make sure you do some testing to see that you can actually connect.